it's working hey y'all hey all right i'm going to give y'all some time to get in here tag your friends tag your cohort members whoever whoever needs like a good review hello 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 everybody first timers hello hello welcome 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 to t tuesday with nurse sam all right so if it's your first time welcome if you if it's your not first time second third whatever if you're a repeat offender welcome back boo all right guys so let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown. So, how we played this game, okay, is basically our entrance exam um, review, but we do it in a really fun way. Okay, we do it in a real Jeopardy style, fun um, game style, gamification way, because who wants to just study boring? Not I, said the cat. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so a lot of you guys are taking your T's exam soon, either the next few days, next few weeks, whatever it is. I'm so glad you guys are here to study with me and everybody else, okay? So how it works is that I am going to be reading questions, and these questions are sponsored by none other than the TheAmazingNurseHub.com. Like my post just said, anybody that ever asks um, what kind of, um, sorry, I got distracted. Anybody that ever asks how to pass their um, ATITs or their HESI or whatever entrance exam or whatever um, entrance exam that's used to get into nursing school, I always recommend Nurse Hub. Okay, if you guys have not heard of Nurse Hub, let me tell you guys about them. Okay. All right, so if you guys want to pass your nursing school exams the first time, guaranteed. This is basically your premium prep. Okay, you guys have free practice tests, but you also have your premium practice tests. And I always tell you guys that if you take enough practice tests as well as supplement it with you know, knowing exactly what's on the entrance exam because you're not you're not really learning anything. Everything that you learned for entrance exams, you've already learned in the past. Like this is basically um, ATITs, not ATI. This is basically SAT. Um, what's the other one? That's not SAT, ACT, basically, but for nursing school, if that makes sense. It's a comprehensive, um, standardized test that's not really. It doesn't really have anything to do with nursing, but it's everything to do with like your basic reading, math, um, and science, especially science because it is like nursing, medical, blah, blah, blah. So um, whether it's HESI or ATITs, and really the difference between ATITs and HESI is like the um, breakdown of the sciences. Like the HESI is a little bit more... Um, specific when it comes to the sciences like they actually have um chemistry biology as far as sections chemistry biology anatomy and right now for ATIT 6 is just like life sciences but for ATIT 7 they are doing away with um life sciences and actually replacing it with like chemistry biology um so that is going to be one change from ATI 6 to ATI 7 also so if you guys um, have not checked out Nurse Hub, please check them out at nursehub.com. Or if you want to check them out on the gram, it is nursehub underscore gram. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into these questions. So let me see if you guys have any questions for me. Let me, let me, let me look. Someone said, I just bought them. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, so if you guys um, weren't here last week, we did like math, uh, we, we did all the sections. We did math, um, science, majority math and science questions, obviously, because those are the easiest ones to do in this, in this type of um, study style. Now, um, as far as reading in English, you really need to have your eyes on the screen to do reading in English. So um, that's why a lot of those, that's, that's why I urge you guys to download the Nurse Sam app um, so you guys can still get your 
practice it at least for tonight's questions and if you need more help and more practice with the ATITs reading refer to nursehub.com okay um, last week we did um, like I said we did lots of math and science and it was amazing that's we had six winners and they um, had a um, it was like a mixture of prizes between um, study gummies um, nurse life planners and um, ATIT's reading because we just did the ATIT's reading study kit and also if you guys need just a whole bundle of ATIT's reading math science we have our brand new literally today it launched we have our brand new um, ATIT study bundle so you can go to the link in my bio or just go to my page thenursam.com and check out that ATIT study bundle if you just need a fun and creative way to just study the ATIT's math, science. Um, it also has an anatomy and um, periodic table of elements that's a little bit funky and um, of course the ATIT's reading if I didn't just say that. Okay, so it has all sections finally all in one. Um, so the ATIT study bundle, go ahead and check that out. If you get everything kind of separately, it'll run you about 54 bucks. But the bundle, if you just get everything in the bundle, it'll be like 39 And plus you can use codes as well, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into tonight's game, okay? So like we said, if you have not been here before and this is your first time, welcome to ATITs. This is our Jeopardy style um, game for studying for the entrance exam for nursing school, specifically for ATIT 6. All right, so how we're going to do it is I'm going to read the question and you guys are going to um, answer the question and I am, we are definitely playing for prizes. Where's my handy dandy notebook? All right, so just like last week and the week before, we are playing for prizes. Now, we aren't playing on teams like regular, like Jeopardy. Um, but we are, everybody is like kind of man for themselves. So, how are we going to play? Huh, let me get my fresh page. <laughs> Sorry. All right, got my pen. All right, so how we're going to play is I'm going to, so just like regular Jeopardy, like I said, we have our categories. Now, our categories for today, we have math, science, and we have reading and English, like I said. Now, if you want to play the reading in English, make sure you download the app. But for the actual live version, we're just going to focus on math and science, okay? We typically get through about 10 or 15 questions anyway on live, and... With math and science, we have about five questions each, so about ten questions that'll get us through. All right, so um, the questions on the app are still from last week, but so don't you can't go ahead and cheat. So, ha -ha. <laughs> so how it's gonna work is I'm going to read the question in the category and the answer amount. So let's say we have like math for a hundred. If you answer in the correct style, what is I don't know what is one. And the answer, and like it's gonna be one, two, three, four as far as the um, answer choices. So if you say what is one, what is two, whatever the whatever, and you're the first person and the answer is correct, you will get those points. You will get 100 points to your name. Now we are playing for the top three. <laughs> I always say three and a half for six. We're playing for the top three highest scores, and the person is going to win study gummies. Okay, so last week, some of our winners had already, like, won. <laughs> All right, so you're getting study gummies. And if you have not um, gotten all of the ATIT's um, study kits, you're going to get the study bundle for free. All right, so you can get the ATIT's study bundle and a bottle of the Lion's Mane Nurse Sam study gummies, which is... Proven to support focus, memory, and mental clarity. It also helps boost motivation for studying when you don't want to. And you need to. <laughs> Alright, so great job. This is going to for this is going to be for our top three highest scores. Alright, guys, I have my pen and paper for our winners and for our scoreboard. Now let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and play. For today's winner so let me make sure you guys aren't saying anything ooh, 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 ooh. 
All right, make sure you guys are tagging whoever needs a good review while I bring up today's question. The name of the app is The Nurse Sam. Real simple. All right, so the name of the app. Tease Tuesday, okay. The app name is Tease, oh, it was, is The Nurse Sam. Make sure you sign up for Nurse Hub, who is also sponsoring today's questions. So if you love today's questions and you feel like it's challenging, make sure you guys um, sign up for Nurse Hub. Mind you, this is the entrance exam for nursing school. Okay, so you're going to have your regular math, science, biology, chemistry, reading, English. Okay, your standardized nurse version of ACT SAT okay all right so sign up for nurseherm.com to pass on the first try all right great so let me see all right, great. So, ATOTs. All right, perfect. All right, so like I said, how we're going to play is I'm going to read the question. I'm going to read the answer choices. You guys are going to answer in the comment box. Uh, what is and then whatever the first question or whatever the correct answer is and you have to be the first person to pop on my screen My screen, please don't cuss me out Please don't cuss me out for some free free prizes <laughs> All right, so remember this is um, me pop well me choosing the correct answer and the winner based off of whoever pops up first on my screen All right, because just in case like someone's internet, whatever may be lagging. So what may look like first for you on your screen, I can't see your screen, I can just see mine. Please don't cuss me out, okay? <laughs> All right, so like I said, I'm going to read it, you're going to answer it. Little tip, if you just type in what is, that way you can save off a couple seconds. That way when I read it, you can just go ahead and um, comprehend it, formulate whatever answer in this, type in whatever answer. All right, so we have 20 questions this week. Like I said, math, English, reading, science, five questions each, all worth 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 points um, consecutively. All right, so like I said, we're just doing math and science for uh, like the verbal version. And if you guys want to try your luck on the English and the reading, specifically the reading, make sure you download the Nurse Sam app. Can you download more than one thing? I mean, can you pin more than one thing? I think, I know. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so make sure you download the Nurse Sam app if you wanna try the reading and stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and try science for 300. Our, ooh, ooh. That's, now that is petty. Remember I said NCLEX is petty? <laughs> HITs is petty too. All right, so this is science for 300. Remember, it's whoever is first on my screen. All right, remember to say what is in order to be answered correct. It says the condition blank can often lead to blank due to buildup and blockage of coronary arteries preventing blood flow to the myocardium. All right, the condition blank can often lead to blank due to buildup and blockage of coronary arteries preventing blood flow to the myocardium. All right, is it one, atherosclerosis to a stroke? Is it two, atherosclerosis 
to myocardial infarction? Is it three, arteriosclerosis to myocardial infarction? Or is it four, arteriosclerosis to stroke? All right, so I'm gonna read them all kind of with the words in it. Is it the condition atherosclerosis can often lead to stroke due to buildup and blockage of coronary arteries preventing blood flow to the myocardium? Is that true or false? Is it, ooh, that's annoying. Is it two, the condition atherosclerosis can often lead to myocardial infarction due to buildup and blockage of coronary arteries, preventing blood flow to the myocardium? Or is it three, arteriosclerosis, uh, I'm sorry, the condition arteriosclerosis can often lead to myocardial infarction due to buildup and blockage of coronary arteries, preventing blood flow to the myocardium? Or is it four, the condition arteriosclerosis can often lead to stroke due to buildup and blockage of coronary arteries, preventing blood flow to the myocardium. All right, let's see what that answer is. Let's look and see. You'll be able to see the questions and the answers and the rationale in the app. So make sure you download the Nurse Sam app. So that after um, we get finished at 8 p.m., you'll be able to see the questions later on tonight after I update them, okay? But we're going to get through them on live first. All right, the answer is what is two, which is atherosclerosis and myocardial infarction. So let's see who got what is two first. What is two? What is two? Air Bloom Co. All right, Air Bloom Co. Awesome job. All right, so let me make sure. Yep. Air Bloom Co. You were the first person to say, What is two? What is atherosclerosis slash myocardial infarction? Great job. So you are on the scoreboard for 300 points. All right. So air, bloom, co. 300 points. Awesome job. All right, guys. So I'm going to read that again. So it says, or the correct sentence should read, the condition atherosclerosis, not arterio, but athero. Sclerosis can often lead to myocardial infarction due to buildup and blockage of coronary arteries, preventing blood flow to the myocardium. All right, huh, let me go back down. All right, so in addition to Air Bloom, great job to High Heels and Motherhood, great job, Sunray 15. Um, Precious Love, Sandball, Melissa Wright, Kariya, Annie, uh, Linz, A, great job. Uh, awesome job, guys. All right, so it says atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque inside the arteries. All right, if the plaque buildup is severe, it can obviously ca cause a blockage, which can prevent blood flow. And you guys know once, blood, once blood flow is prevented, that can um, prevent blood flow to the heart tissue. And we know that can be very bad. All right, so when there is lack of blood flow or then lack of oxygen to the heart tissue, that can cause a heart attack or AKA myocardial infarction all right this can also occur if a plaque ruptures all right so remember that build up that plaque um, um, that can actually dislodge itself all right and so that that um, plaque itself or that build up can actually dislodge itself from the walls or from the arterial walls and that itself can block or occlude 
the arterial or the artery which will again prevent blood flow to wherever it's um, blocking. But in this particular case, it'll block um, blood flow to the heart tissue, which can once again cause a heart attack. All right. So um, once I get once again, if this occurs, if a plaque ruptures, it travels through the vessels and becomes lodged in a coronary artery. Now, arterial sclerosis. All right. A lot of you guys were getting mixed up between athero. Sclerosis, A-T-H-E-R-O, sclerosis, and arteriosclerosis, all right? Remember, athero, that A-T-H, is the buildup of plaque inside the arteries. Now, I know that's confusing because you're like, wow, why wouldn't it be arteriosclerosis? Arteriosclerosis is the hardening and narrowing of blood vessels and blood flow is then restricted, Okay. So atherosclerosis, the build of a plaque, which causes prevention of blood flow. And arterio is the hardening and or narrowing of those um, blood vessels, which will then um, restrict blood flow. Okay, so remember that difference. Note that difference. Athero is the build of a plaque and arterio is that hardening and narrowing. Okay. Um, it says arterio is the hardening and narrowing of the blood vessels and although blood flow can be restricted this is not the cause of buildup or blockage remember buildup or blockage is the atherosclerosis just the hardening and the narrowing itself is arteriosclerosis okay um it says a stroke can occur if a blood vessel in the brain becomes blocked by embolism Remember, embolism is the word we use for any material, all right, that blocks a blood vessel, all right? That can also include plaque. Remember, that plaque, that buildup can also be dislodged, all right? And if that dislodgement occurs and it occludes a blood vessel in the brain, it can cause a stroke, all right? And that is caused by an embolism, all right? So once again, great job to everybody that said what is two. Remember to note that difference between athero and arteriosclerosis. Give me two seconds left to get my uh, charger. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so because this was teeter tottering on six percent, I'm I'm not even gonna do that to y'all. All right, here we go. All right, guys. So great job. That was science for three hundred. Air Bloom Co got that for three hundred points. Great job, boo. All right, now let's go to math. Now, last week, Jakara, she, 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 she swept y'all up. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, she swept y'all up. But that's okay, because remember, we're just playing for incentives just to make it fun. As long as you are answering these questions correctly, that's really the main prize, okay? Because uh, it's fine if y'all mess up and get the wrong answers with me here during Tease Tuesday. That's literally the point, okay? Come on here, get the questions wrong, and then figure out why so that when you go and take the real T's, you understand why you don't make the same mistake twice or th three times or however many times. No judgment here. We make it fun. All right. So I was like, oh, no, I, <laughs> I hate math. I know. All right. So let's do this one. Math for 400. All right. <clears throat> math for 400. It takes 8.25 hours to travel 495 miles in your car. What is the average number of miles traveled per hour? Is it 1, 80, 2, 60, 3, 55.7, 4, 45.5? All right, it takes 8.25 hours to travel 495 miles in your car what is the average number number of miles traveled per hour 
Is it number one? 80. Is it number two? 60. Is it number three? 55.7. Or is it number four? 45.5. What is the answer? And who was first on my screen? Please don't cuss me out. All right, let's look. All right, first person to get what is two, and that is the correct answer. Correct answer is what is two, which is 60. 60 is the correct answer. 60 miles per hour is the average number of miles traveled per hour for this question. First person to get this is Melissa Wright. Hello, Melissa. Welcome aboard and welcome onto the scoreboard. You are now in the lead with 400 points. Most right, 83, 400 points. Awesome job. So, yes, the answer is what is two. Great job, Melissa Wright. What, what is two is also 60. Great job, Unknown Beauty. Kama, great job, IMV. Lens A, Sweet Chocolate, KYB, STN, Sasha, Chanel Blunt. Great job, great job. Awesome job, guys. So, so remember, we must understand what's happening in the situation. Whenever we're talking about math, you have to really understand what the question is asking you. Because they will throw a bunch of stuff in there that literally make no sense. So, or it has nothing to do with what it's asking you, okay? So, um, for this question, it's asking us for the average number of miles to travel per hour. So, we know we at least need the... Um, Average number of, well, we know we need the average number of miles or just the number of miles traveled and the amount of time taken to travel that, all right, in order to find the average. All right, so in order for us to do that, we need to take the ratio of the, dif of the distance traveled to the time it takes to travel that distance. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our division problem. That is going to be, remember, it takes us 8.25 hours. <laughs> All right, so we don't need to do any conversions because remember it's miles traveled per hour and it gave us 8.25 hours, thank God. <laughs> so we don't have to like convert minutes or anything like that into hours. So we have 8.25 hours and 495 miles. So we divide, we do 495 divided by 8.25. You do that, and it's going to be 60. So that means our average velocity is 60 miles per hour. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Let me look and see. All right. Once again, all these questions and the rationales are going to be in the NurseM app. So everything that we're talking about, you'll be able to see the questions, see the rationale, um, for yourself, just in case you need to be a visual person to actually see the questions, you'll be able to see these same questions after we get through them on live. Um, so make sure you download the Nurse Sam app, literally the Nurse Sam, okay? Um, do, 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 do. Now, see, that's an, I tried to do an English question, but that's an example of one that you literally have to see. You have to see that one. You have to see that one. You have to see that one. Okay, literally all the English ones and reading ones, you have to see. Okay, so let's do a science. Let's do this one for 200. All right. Which of the following comparisons between arteries and veins is true? All right, which of the following comparisons between arteries and veins is true? All right, one, veins have thick muscular walls while our arteries have thin, more compliant walls. Is it two, veins have a smaller diameter than arteries? Is it three, veins carry freshly oxygenated blood from tissue back to the heart while arteries carry oxygen depleted blood away from the heart? Or is it four, veins have valves and arteries do not?
Can y'all hear me now? Make sure y'all can hear me. All right, I'm looking at your answers, but let me give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Just gonna pop me one of these study gummies really quick. These lines main study gummies. Y'all can hear me, right? Okay, great. Strawberry flavored lines main study gummies. That's actually really good. Woo! All right, so you guys can hear me perfect. All right, I'm going to read that again. Which of the following comparisons between arteries and veins is true? Let me look up and see what you guys were saying. All right, <clears throat> which of the following comparisons between arteries and veins is true? One, veins have thick muscular walls. Uh, while arteries have thin, more compliant walls. Two, veins have a smaller diameter than arteries. Three, veins carry freshly oxygenated blood from tissue back to the heart, while arteries, uh, while arteries carry oxygen depleted blood away from the heart. And then four is veins have valves and arteries do not. All right, what, which of the following comparisons between arteries and veins is true? Let's look and see what our answer is. And it is what is for veins have valves and arteries do not. All right, hold on one second. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is for? Let's see who's the first person to say what is for. A lot of people chose what is two. The only person to choose four is R and Liz. And you didn't say what is, but you're the only person to say four. Seanette Gibbs. Seanette Gibbs. No, nope, Melissa Wright. Nope. Seanette Gibbs said it as well, but she said it after you. But the only person to actually say it in what is form, remember you have to say in what is form in order for you to be answered correctly. All right. Um, remember, it's by who goes is on my screen. I don't see that you said it. Um, Relo Vang. Hold on, let me look. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't see that. I don't see that at all. unfortunately all right so I'm gonna go ahead and read great job to everybody that got what is for veins have valves and arteries do not all right so let's kind of go through it a lot of people chose two which was veins have a smaller diameter than arteries a lot of people thought that was true and it's actually false all right um so let's go ahead and go through them one by one so it says, due to the lower pressure in the venous system and the fact that most blood is trying to return back to the heart against the force of gravity, veins have valves that prevent blood from moving backwards. All right. So remember, veins have valves. That's usually the V and the V. That's how I remember it. Veins have valves, V for V, and arteries don't. There is no V in arteries, but there is a V in veins. So that's how I remember Um whether valves are in veins or arteries. Valves start with a V. <laughs> Is there a V in veins? Is there a V in arteries? There are there's V's in veins, but there are no V's in arteries. Alright? That's how you can remember that one. Now as far as whether veins are thick or thin, so it says veins do not contain thick muscular walls like arteries do all right so veins are actually um this goes back to number one number one said veins have thick muscular walls while arteries have thin more compliant walls that's actually false it's reverse veins have thin more compliant walls and arteries have thick muscular walls all right think about when um or i'm not, not sure 
Well, you guys are studying for your entrance exam. So obviously you have not done pharmacology and you not have not done IV therapy unless you have been IV certified before getting into this program. But um, you'll learn that whenever you're doing like IV sticks, you're going into the vein, not the artery. So the wall of a vein is more thin, more compliant, but an artery is thick, muscular. That's um, think about when you hear um, you don't want to you don't want to nick the artery. It takes a lot to nick an artery. Okay, it's more, it's definitely more thick than a vein. All right. Um, let's look and see. Let's go to the next one. Um, all right, it says if venous walls were thick, like arterial walls, there would be more resistance for blood flowing into veins. Since blood in the venous side is already under a lower pressure, this would create a problem for blood to return to the heart. Arteries have thicker muscular walls due to the higher pressure of blood flow in the arterial side of circulation. All right, so think about that as well. Now, as far as veins carrying oxygenated versus deoxygenated, that's always like a good question because that's, that's a good one to get confused and caught up on. So this says, veins carry blood that is leaving tissue after it has unloaded all the oxygen. All right, so veins carry blood that is leaving tissue after it has unloaded all the oxygen so just think about like amazon those amazon trucks after they unload <laughs> fedex trucks after they unload all our amazon packages all right so therefore they are carrying oxygen depleted blood all right along with metabolic waste and they're um taking that back towards the heart all right um venous blood carries oxygen deficient blood back to the heart all right so venous blood carries oxygen deficient blood back to the heart oxygen what, what? <laughs> arteries carry oxygen rich blood from the heart to the tissues because remember the blood going to the tissues and everywhere else in the body has to be full of oxygen to deliver it all right I, like i said i always think about like FedEx routes and delivery truck routes, all right? You want to deliver the oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body, okay? Whenever you're running low, send the trucks back. The trucks are obviously oxygen depleted. Send them back to um, uh, the hearts or the, um, what is it called? Not the, the factory center, the head center, whatever. Send them back to um, home base, wherever, so they can fill up with that oxygen-rich blood so they can go back out on their route to deliver the oxygen-rich blood to the, um, to the rest of the body. All right? Um, oh, that's another great way. A for away um, and A for arteries. All right, that's warehouse. Thank you. Warehouse is the word I was looking for. All right, so um, veins carry blood to the tissues and artery, uh, arteries carry oxygen rich blood from the heart or away from the heart so yes a for away for arteries and then v for towards great way all right um it says due to the higher pressure in which arterial blood must flow arteries have thicker walls and smaller lumen all right or diameter as compared to veins so the question that said a lot of you guys like I said said number two which was veins have smaller diameters than arteries that's actually once again not true it says due to the higher pressure in which arterial blood must flow the lumen has to be smaller or the diameter is actually smaller in arteries than in veins all right veins are often considered to be um, um, vessels that carry a larger volume of blood and have thinner walls and greater wall compliance to accommodate the higher volume of blood. All right, let me look and see. Woohoo! Happy early birthday, Tarpy Matt, and good luck to you. 
Let us know when you get accepted, period. We manifest over here. All right. All right. Great job, guys. Let me see. Who who did I say got that? Miss Wright. All right, Miss Wright, you had another 200 points added to your score. You were already on the board with 400 points. So you just got 600 points. All right, you're in the lead with 600 points. And Air Bloom Co., you are second in place with 300. Like I said, it can be anybody's game. Many points. Um, we just did science. Let's do another math. And let's do it for 500 points. Ooh, I'm so petty. I am so petty. I am so petty. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be saving this video. All right, so, um, guys, somebody said, do the study gummies actually work? Yes, they do. Because I, I'm not going to lie, I popped like four today because I had a lot of things to do. And it really does help, like, get you motivated and keep you on task. Like, it really, it's a new tropic, which means brain food. Um, or smart drug <laughs> and it's um, scientifically especially the lion's mane and the amount that's in there it's scientifically proven to help motivate you and increase that um, mental clarity to help increase memory recall all that stuff so that's another reason why I wanted to bring that to you guys because it's pretty bomb all right so like I said math for 500 To make money for his spring vacation, Blake mows yards and sells finger skateboards that he makes. Blake mowed eight yards and sold 15 finger skateboards. So one more time. Blake mowed eight yards and sold 15 finger skateboards. If he made $35 for each yard he mowed, and $12.25 for each skateboard he sold. How much money did make did Blake make for his vacation? All right. Blake mowed eight yards and sold 15 finger skateboards. He made 80, well, I'm sorry. He made $35 for each yard he mowed and $12.25 for each skateboard he sold. How much money did Blake make for his vacation? Is it one, $708.75? Is it two, $623? Is it three, $352.25? Or is it four, $463.75? How much did Blake make for his vacation? Remember, he mowed eight yards and sold 15 finger skateboards. He charges $35 for each yard and $12.25 for each finger skateboard. So how much money, money in total did Blake make to spend it all on his vacation to Vegas? I don't know where Blake going, but I hope Blake is going to spend that money, honey, okay? All right, so let's look and see what it is. All right, so the answer is what is four, $463.75. All right, Blake has $463.75 to blow at the strip club <laughs> on his spring vacation. And I'm here for it, Blake. So let's go ahead and figure out how much money Blake has to spend and to blow. All right, so let's go ahead and look. Mm -mm. Someone said, is the nurse have really accurate, helpful? They have a first time um, pass guarantee, guarantee. I know about me, I'm not guaranteeing nothing unless I know for a fact that it works. Over 25,000 um, students have trusted them. So if you, um, I totally say give it a chance. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So what is for? Let's see who's the first person to say that. Let's look, 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 look and see. Or say four sixty three seventy five. Um, it looks like it was unknown beauty. Unknown beauty right before Relo Vang. 
awesome job great job unknown beauty you are on the scoreboard with 500 points all right unknown all right great job okay guys so once again it was 463.75 great job relo vang great job Karaya. Air Bloom, um, Nice with Wit, Baby Jonas, um, X and Me, uh, Niche to You, IMV, Only One Live, Rockstar Kitty, Shauna Gibbs, Danae, Breathe Lively, <laughs> The Clarity Times, great job, great job. Awesome job, everyone that said what is for or $463.75. All right, guys, so how are we going to interpret this problem? So remember, um, to find the amount of money that Blake made while mowing those yards, we figure out how many yards he mowed, which was eight. They gave us that. Times X, and X is how much he charged for mowing. All right, so we're also going to add, as far as we're trying to figure out the total amount, so we're going to make that equation. So it is the number of... Um, yards mode plus the number of finger skateboards sold so we have that 8x to represent the number of yards mode 8 being the number so i'm at your mode x being how much he's being charged for it i mean well how much he's charging for it he's taxing the girls 35 dollars to mow that yard okay so and then as far as finger skateboards we sold 15 of those we can do 8x plus 15, like y, sure, 15y. Okay. All right, and that 15y, that y can stand for um, the amount of money the finger skateboards cost, and that was $12.25. So let's go ahead and put that in. All right, so we have 8x, and that x is $35. So 8 times 35 is going to be... 280 all right so in total Blake made two hundred dollars two hundred and eighty dollars mowing yards okay because remember it's thirty five dollars per yard times eight yards he made two hundred dollars two hundred and eighty dollars mowing yards remember we got to figure out how much he made selling these skateboard finger things too all right so 15 times the 1225 and that is going to give us $183.75. All right. So remember, we're trying to figure out his total spend. All right. How many ones? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> How much can Blake, my dog Blake, spend at the strip club for spring vacation? All right. So he made 280 mowing lawns and then $183.75. So let's go ahead and add that together. And that's going to give us $463.75. Blake, don't spend it all in one place. Don't do it, okay? So once again, the answer is number four, 463.75. Great job, Unknown Beauty, and great job, everybody else that got it correct. Because on the end, not the end clicks, on the ATITs, we're shutting it down, period. All right, so. Great job. Let's go ahead and do another science. And this one is going to be for 500 points. All right. Let me look and see. Oh, someone said, let me, can I show the formula? Hold on one second. Wait for it. That's the formula I used. That is the formula I used for the previous question. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. All right. All right, so we're going back. We're doing science for 500, guys. All right, so which of the following describes what would happen? Oh, which of the following describes what would happen during a period of hyper 
ventilation. <laughs> Y'all know that um, TikTok? <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Whatever. All right. So, which of the following describes what would happen during a period of hyperventilation? Is it one, decreased carbon dioxide levels result in an increase in pH? Two, increased oxygen uptake results in greater tissue perfusion. Three, increased carbon dioxide levels result in an increase in pH. Or is it four, decreased carbon dioxide levels result in a de decrease in pH? All right, we're trying to figure out what happens when you hyperventilate. Is it one, Decreased carbon dioxide levels result in an increase in pH. Is it two, increased oxygen uptake results in greater tissue perfusion? Is it three, increased carbon dioxide levels result in an increase in pH? Or is it four, decreased carbon dioxide levels to result in a decrease in pH? What is our answer? And our answer is, what is one? What is one? Decrease carbon dioxide levels result in an increase in pH. All right. It says, hyperventilation is the increase in breathing rate beyond the normal rate. Okay. When this happens, more carbon dioxide than needed is exhaled, lowering the carbon dioxide levels in the blood. All right, as a compensatory mechanism to increase carbon dioxide levels, hydrogen, ar hydrogen ions are used, creating more bicarb or bicarbonate as a byproduct and in increasing the pH. You guys remember your ABGs, arterial blood gases? All right, um, quick thing, hyperventilation would, would cause what type, what type of ABG result? First person to answer gets the 100 points. Hyperventilation you uh, will cause what type of ABG result? First person to answer will get 100 points. Hyperventilation which will cause what type of ABG result? Yep, respiratory alkalosis is what I was looking for. Hold on, let me look. Hold on one second. Mm -mm -mm. But yes, um... Respirator respiratory alkalosis is definitely what I was looking for. Remember, um, hyperventilation as far as um, metabolic versus re respiratory. I'm definitely going to go with respiratory metabolic is like a kidney um, kidney issue. Um, respiratory, obviously with the lungs, so that's going to be a um, respiratory issue as far as acidosis versus alkalosis. Remember, for um, hyperventilation, you are um, blowing off more CO2. Um, so that leads to lower CO2 levels. Um, and as far as the, um, depending on if your body has started to compensate for it. All right, that's going to lead to your blood being um, alkalized or more basic. So you're going to have respiratory alkalosis. All right, so remember with alkalosis, um, um, you're going to have more base than acid. I lost my questions. One second, go back. Yes, yeah, so with alkalosis, you're going to have more base than acid. Um, remember, alk alkalotic is just another word for um, basic or base. So you're, um, you're going to have respiratory alkalosis. Great job, Unknown Beauty. Who else got that? Um, 
So you just got another 100 points added to you. So you and Melissa Wright are tied for first place with 600 points. Um, and then we have Air Bloom Co. with 300 points. Um, who else got... Oh, great job, Air Bloom, for respiratory alkalosis. Right? Because the pH is high. Great job, Fit Mama Rex. Trisha, Sasha. Awesome job. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and go to our next question. Let's do... Let's keep it in the family. Let's do another science for 400. And since we're just talking about blood and blood vessels and stuff, like I said, let's keep it in the family. <laughs> All right, so this is another question um, with fill in the blanks. All right, the blank, this is science for 400. The blank carries oxygen depleted blood away from the heart while the blank carries oxygen rich blood back towards the heart is it one vena cava to pulmonary artery is it two aorta and pulmonary artery is it three pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein or is it four pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery all right go back to it The blank carries oxygen depleted blood away from the heart. That's the first part. And the second part is while the blank carries oxygen rich blood back towards the heart. All right. One is vena cava and pulmonary artery. Two is aorta and pulmonary artery. Three is pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. And four is pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery. What is that answer? Let me look. Let me go back up and see. All right. The correct answer was, what is three pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein? Great job. All right, a lot of you guys were just saying like artery and vein. You would let me finish. All right. So specifically the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. Remember it's um, the pulmonary arteries carries blood from the right ventricle to the lungs where it can pick up oxygen. Therefore, oxygen depleted blood is carried in the pulmonary arteries specifically. This is contrary to most arteries, which typically carry oxygen-rich blood. Once the blood is oxygenated in the lungs, it returns to the heart at the left atrium through the pulmonary vein. Once blood has been oxygenated and returns to the left side of the heart, it can be ejected by the left ventricle throughout the body via the aorta. The vena cava returns oxygen-depleted blood to the right atrium of the heart. And then it just goes back over again. All right, let me look and see. All right, so if you got, that's kind of like a blood flow of the heart. If you guys need a reminder of anything math and science, especially this math, science, and weeding, remember to download our um, nurse, our nurse, our ATIT study bundle. This completely new that's for anybody that is um, studying for the T's and needs all the sections of the ATIT's um, study guide in one bundle so included in the bundle you get ATIT's math you have the section the um, science section you get the reading and English section study guide I mean you get the anatomy or the Slay's anatomy study kit section. You also get the periodic table of elements that's like Tetris themed. And you also get the ATIT study planner along with like tips and tricks on how to pass the ATITs, the difference between ATIT six and seven, um, uh, like a breakdown of what the ATITs is so you not only know what's on the test but what the test actually is 
All right, so it's actually really preparing you for the test in any um, possible way, shape, or form. So that's why this is a great bundle for you guys. Um, $54 if you get it like separately, but $39 if you just get it with the bundle. Plus, you can use um, study code, not study codes, discount codes as well if you guys want to um, get some money off of those. Remember to download the Nurse Tim app. I'm about to upload these questions so you guys can finish. Um, but I don't know if I told y'all who won that one day. The person that won that really quick was Kells. Where are you? Like Kells84, yes. So Kells84 was the winner of that last question, which was science for 400. So Kells84, great job. All right, so that completes our game for tonight for Tease Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for playing, but we are not done yet. Let's go ahead and see who won our prizes. Unknown Beauty, you cannot, you cannot just be coming out here and just wiping everybody clean every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, so first place is tied, actually, between Unknown Beauty and Melissa Wright 83. Okay, congratulations. Unknown Beauty, you already know the drill. My dog. All right, so we're not going to do a tiebreaker between Melissa Wright and Unknown Beauty. Great job both to both of you guys. So we're going to reward both of you. All right, Unknown Beauty, let me know what you want. All right. <laughs> um, if you, I can't remember if you have the study gummies. Do you, do you want another bottle or? Or like a, a pin or something I don't remember you literally probably have everything um, Melissa Wright congrats if you um, want the study bundle um, or if you yeah if you don't have the study bundle or you don't have any of the study kits at all make sure you give me a good working email address um, but I'll get into it. You guys need to send me afterwards. But yes, Melissa Wright 83 and Unknown Beauty, you guys are both tied for first place. So great job to you guys. <laughs> Yay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so study gummies for you. Perfect, perfect. All right. Second place is actually Kells84. Great job with 400 points. Kells, if you are studying for the ATITs, congrats to you. You actually won a case of study gummies as well. And like I said, if you're studying for the ATITs, you won a free copy of the bundle, which includes, like I said, all four sections and all four study kits, plus a periodic table of um, elements that's kind of Tetris-y themed. So you get that. Awesome job. The bundle is, is when you, as long as you download it, the bundle is good forever. Forever. Okay? Alright, so remember, the bundles do not have expiration dates. As long as you download it to whatever device, if there's no um, download link. I mean, there's no expiration dates on the actual purchase. Now, as far as the links, there is no download link, um, download date, expiration date on the links. But just in case we like switch the link to something else or whatever, that's what I mean by it does not, your purchase <clears throat> does not expire. Even if you lose the link, just email us. And as long as we can verify your purchase, you can just get the link back to you. All right, so Kells, once again, you get the ATITs bundle and some study gummies. Congrats to you, second place. And then third place is Air Bloom Company. Congrats to you as well. All right, from all of you guys, I need you guys to DM me your your full name, first name, and last, um, a good email address, and a shipping address so I can ship you your Lion's Mane Steady Gummies. All right, this retails for like $19. Currently, it's on sale for like $15, I believe. Um, and once again, your... Study bundles, ATI study bundles, they are on sale, well not on sale, they are currently listed for $39, but because you guys stayed with me throughout ATITs, again, want you guys, someone said I like your beanie hat, thank you, because you guys stayed with me through ATITs, 
I'm giving you guys a discount code so you guys can use for your um, ATITs bundles. All right, so thank you, thank you for playing with me. Make sure you guys use code STEADY25. All right, use code STEADY25 for 25% off your next purchase. Um, if you purchase, especially if you purchase the ATIT study bundle, but if you just want the maybe the ultimate nursing school bundle or the study gummy, study gummies, or maybe the nurse life planner, whatever. The the um, study twenty five discount code works um, site wide. All right, so great job to all of you guys that won. All four of you guys, remember to DM me your information so I can send you your stuff. And I am going to update the questions on the app. Remember, that's 20 questions, 20 different questions from last week. All supplied by nursehub.com. Premium prep for you guys to um, prep for your entrance exams into nursing school. That's your ATITs, your Wonderlick, your HESI. They have um, thousands of questions for you guys to prepare. They also have a first-time um, pass guarantee. All right, so that makes with supplementing it with Tease Tuesday, every Tuesday, downloading the app for extra questions. Um, so you can download and play the mobile version of our Tease Tuesday anytime, anywhere. All right, still our blue screen Jeopardy version to make it fun. And then also make sure you download um, the ATI Tease bundle as well, which includes math, science, reading and English, and anatomy as well um, as... A little bit of the um, periodic table of elements from the chemistry portion just in a Tetris theme to make it fun once again all right so once again I will see you guys next Tuesday for another week of T's Tuesday Jeopardy review I will be downloading this um, replay as usual and I will see you guys next time thank you